They called saying there's some bad news. Right after that, they did a blood transfusion. <gasps> to address. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Stephanie, you are very not mobile during your intro. Usually you are jumping about, hopping behind couches, hopping up on your fiance. I have really bad cramps, so I have a heat pad. But I just want to say, attention. Attention, people of this household. Mango is coming home tomorrow. Mango Ooh, is finally yes, coming home tomorrow. Mango. This date has been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And then at one point, it was an absolute, just a cry fest, because at one point the doctor was like, brace yourselves. Like, it's not looking great. It's not looking good. Her blood cell counts are going down. And then finally we got the call and they said verbatim, Mango is a trooper. And I said, I knew yeah. it. I knew that was my dog. I don't like that though. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is the day, which means today we have to start preparing. There's a lot that we have to prepare. And Mango's life is not going to go back to the way that it was before she went to the hospital, before we found out everything about her health. It's not going to be the same. She's not going to be able to play the same, sleep the same, eat the same. But also a lot is going to change for us because we have to be super careful now. They said that even like small things such as accidentally opening the door on Mango's butt could cause internal bleeding. <laughs> Today, that is pretty much all that's on the schedule is for us to prep, to clean, got to make sure there's nothing on the grounds. I feel like Kate Middleton is visiting. <laughs> this is like really intense. But before we get started, I feel like we all need some energy. You look like you don't want to do any cleaning for Mango and <laughs> that's David, sir. <laughs> I'm going to make us cups of coffee. <laughs> wow, what a smooth transition. <laughs> Today's vlog is sponsored by Four Sigmatic. Here's the thing, you guys have been with me for my coffee journey. When I first started YouTube, I didn't drink any coffee. And then I started becoming obsessed with coffee. The taste of coffee, the smell of coffee, the effects of coffee. And then I started experimenting, okay, like I still feel like there's something missing in my coffee. And so I moved on to like matcha and it just wasn't hitting the spot like coffee does. There's something about coffee that you just have to have once you love it. All of us have been at like different levels of coffee addicts like Patricia she just started drinking coffee here we finally found the coffee that works for all four of us I feel kind of like a chemist especially in the mornings I feel like this is like one of the most relaxing I want to feel like Instagram aesthetic type of vibes which is poor is it called drip coffee this is the coffee grounds that I use which is the four sigmatic mushroom and probiotic coffee I like this because I feel like it's like a good gut cup of coffee you get your probiotics in here you get your mushrooms but you also get your coffee and it tastes just like regular coffee these mushrooms I think they use are like turkey tail, chaga, some super fancy, super food mushrooms. And you guys know that I'm also super obsessed with probiotics, so this is really good because I don't have to remember to take my coffee and then take my probiotic pill and then take another pill. This is just like all in one, do it yourself, but it's also much more affordable than getting coffee and probiotic pills. And then I grab four tablespoons. One, I have my little coffee filter here. Two. This is probably like the worst measuring spoon, but you don't have to be like super exact. <laughs> should be a tablespoon. I grab my little water. If you guys have a kettle, it's easier, but I don't have the strength for a kettle sometimes. And then you just Whoa. pour it in. It smells so good. What does it smell like? Every sip of this coffee that you take every single morning, not only are you going to think of me, I'm <laughs> just kidding, you're going to think about all that immune and gut supporting. I'm going to filter more water in because we've got four people who are staring at me that really want their <laughs> coffee. Is this how a barista at a cafe feels? I'm like, geez Probably. Louise. Hold on. And then I shake up some almond milk, pour in the almond milk, and then I grab my little whisker thing and I froth it up. Smells good. You take out this beaker, which like looks super chemisty. And sometimes if I'm just making coffee for myself, I'll stick some ice and some freaking straws in here and just drink it like this. Pour it into this glass cup like this. You can also just measure out how much coffee you like. My mom likes it a little lighter, but we like it a little bit darker. Then I like to pour in my frothed milk on the top. Whoa, that is so cool. I like to hit it with some ground cinnamon. That looks that good. That looks legit. Then it looks like this. Wow. This is how I do my coffee. I'm gonna do a sip like a coffee commercial. Okay, ready? It's like a cold mm. winter day. It's Christmas day. There's Christmas bells in the background. Come on. <laughs> And you're having a cup of cinnamon spice, four sigmatic mushroom and probiotic <laughs> coffee. All right, it's almost summer. Sing, sing Christmas bells, no songs, we're gonna get copyrighted. Boom, 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 boom. And I meet up with my lover at a cafe. He's Santa. And we make eye contact and I go. <laughs> 
thinks it's so cute I have foam on my lip. You think so? <laughs> Make sure to use the link in the description because Four Sigmatic has a 100% money back guarantee. So if you guys get any sort of coffee, they also have different teas. They've got different mixes. If you don't like it, you can return it and you get 100% of your money back. This one is from my mom. This is her first time trying Four Sigmatic. She's like really picky about her coffee. She's like, she I don't really want to try is. it. I don't want to try it. Is I don't want to try it. You guys so. are no pressure, mom. You don't have to love it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. She says it's good. Usually she doesn't even like milk and cinnamon and stuff. Mother. <laughs> Before we start cleaning, let's talk about mango. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for updates and I saw all of the comments. There are so many comments of the video where I talked about mango going to the hospital and I was reading through so many of them and I just wanna say like, thank you for being there for us and mango cause it's highly appreciated. Normally I get scared to read comments about like, I don't know, like when there's so many comments, I'm sure there's like gonna be some that's like, ooh, bad things are gonna happen, it's not looking good, but literally everyone gave me their opinion and was like so hopeful in the comments. I just kept reading and reading because it was like the only thing where I was like, oh no, everything's gonna be okay. The past couple days have been really, really hard. There have been like lots of emotions on my end too because I was feeling kind of down in the dumps and like super sick at the time too. I don't know why my stomach was starting to really hurt and then like I had these weird cramps. My mom kept telling me it's probably like because you're so worried. I don't think we've ever had a situation with Mango that was like this intense. Normally it's like, oh, she needs to get surgery, but then afterwards they're like, no, it's gonna be a surgery that's gonna look fine. Everything's gonna be good afterwards. You know that she's gonna get discharged on this day. I know I hate to say this, but like, you know, like the total cost of the surgery is this much, but with this one, it was like- It was all depends on her. Yeah, it all depended on her. And it was like oh. a situation where the doctors were like, listen, you could end up spending your whole savings and we still don't know if she can be fixed. It really just just depends on mango and so there was just like so many factors and I was getting really stressed out and so I was like laying in bed like crying and my stomach was hurting and then I like couldn't really like eat a lot because normally I eat really really good <laughs> but like I, I couldn't even eat like things that I loved eating and then there was like the whole self-blame too like I'd lay in bed and then part of it was like maybe if I was nicer to mango <laughs> which like doesn't even make sense because she has an autoimmune disease like it's not we did anything bad to her anything bad to her in life happened but I was like if I was a little bit better to mango, maybe she wouldn't have an autoimmune disease. Logic is out the window. We got the call that she's coming tomorrow, which is a really big step, huge step. So I just want to walk you guys through everything that's happened. That day, I kind of explained, we woke up in the morning. Mango is just feeling so, she just was not herself. She was so lethargic. She couldn't even get up onto our bed. So we take her to the vet. We get a call that she might have an autoimmune disease. It can be caused by two things in, in terms of dog. The first being that it could be like a bacterial autoimmune autoimmune disease. Mango right now, the biggest two issue they found was the red blood cell count is decreasing really, really fast. Number two is there's no platelet in its blood. So Mango yeah. doesn't heal, just keep bleeding everywhere. Either caused by tick or by autoimmune disease. They did the test a couple of days later, we found out it was autoimmune disease and we didn't know what it means, but it's very yeah. complicated. I think it works very similar to how it works in humans, which is her white blood cells are attacking her red blood cells. Is that what it is? Is yeah. white attacking red? I believe so, because the white blood cells are the ones that fight. Or their immune system, let's just say it like okay. that. Her immune system is attacking her own cells, her red blood cells. And platelets are different because platelets, they help you clog blood. So like if you get a paper cut, you'll bleed a little bit, and then later it'll just, it'll stop bleeding. Yeah. And Mango, when she went into the hospital a couple days ago, she had no platelets in her blood. And that's why she had bruising on her stomach because that means that her skin is bleeding almost. No, in like internally. And then um, she had evidence of bleeding in her butt in and her in poop. her eye. That's super dangerous. That means even if she were to fall while walking, she could have internal bleeding because there's nothing to clog the blood inside of her system. And so she had no platelets and her blood cell count was like- It was at 20 something percent. And what's a normal dog? A lot higher. Okay. They say a lot higher. It's low. 20 something is low. It's not low to a point that she needs a blood transfusion mm -hmm. at that moment. That's why they say we hope that yeah. Mango doesn't need blood 
blood transfusion, but some dogs does need and a little bit. And they said it's like not really a cure, it's just something to buy time. Yeah, so the treatment, the therapy can come in effect. I was really stressed about that, but I wasn't really, I was thinking, okay, no, it's gonna be good. It's not the worst case scenario. The fact that they said they have some critical patients they're working on first, I was like, this is good, this is good. And then they sent a picture of Mango, and I'm gonna put the picture here. And she looks so cute, like wrapped up in her blanket. And like, you might be thinking like, oh, the nurse is like wrapped her in that blanket, but I know she she did that on herself. That's her favorite thing to do is to go under a blanket and then stick her head out so she can breathe that the rest of her body is warm. Then we keep getting calls saying, hey, her red blood cells are dropping. We're trying to administer these types of drugs. And so we're like, oh shoot, oh shoot. The next day they called saying there's some bad news. Her red blood cell went from 20 something down to 17 or 15, which that's when they say they need to start with a treatment called IVIG. It's I think it's called IVIG. It's a sort of blood infusion that took about six hours to complete and that was late at night. Right after that, they did a blood transfusion and that lasted till morning. So she had a crazy night. To me, all of this sounds insane and it still doesn't really register in my head like what they're doing. All I know is Mango is sick and really sick in the hospital and I feel so helpless, especially now that like we can't even go visit. Last time she had surgery there, we could go visit and the nurses would bring her out into a room and we, we would have like an hour with her and a bunch of blankets on the ground and we could bring a toy for her and then they'd take her back afterwards but because of corona like we can't even leave the car in the parking lot which I get it like I'm not complaining but yeah. it was just kind of sad that I couldn't even go see her and we got this one picture and the the doctor called us and said yeah but no I wanted to take the picture for you so we just texted the picture but it seems like Mango does she always have a thing for cameras and I was like what and she's like I don't know we tried taking a picture of her and she didn't bite us but you could tell she hated it she like she snapped, a little. snapped at us which like Mango has never done like the only time she snaps at people is mainly for fun like when we're playing around and like we take her twin but normally she never I've never had an issue like that with Mango but especially with cameras not even food or toys mm -hmm. which are her favorite things so all I could think was she's like really sick right now so that made me really even more sad and they kept sending pictures she had a blood transfusion and right now her they're checking her blood every six hours yeah. they said that her platelets went from zero to like one or two per field. It went up a little more now. Oh really? Yeah. That's good. And so Playlet yeah. has came up a little. It's still not a lot, but they say right now she needs, just kind of want her to work with the Playlet that she has so she can start healing. And then uh, the red blood cell right now is back to 25, I believe, 28 or 25. It's stable there for a day now. And if it's all good, she can, kind of, we can kind of take care of her at home. Bring her back every few days for checkup. And a lot of medicine too. Yeah, and they're listing off all the medicines I like died. <laughs> and then like, I think the worst is when you think about like a tiny little dog who has to take mm -hmm. so many different medicines and she can't even tell me if she's uncomfortable. And I think that's the saddest. Like, Mango if doesn't sick. show sadness. Yeah, Mango, <laughs> we have this security footage of her. I'm not gonna show it, but we have this really, it was the most emotional security footage. Dan Dan, when he came, right, he walks through the front door and I wasn't out there because I was getting surprised, didn't even know he was in the house and everyone was trying to be quiet. And I saw the security footage afterwards and he walks into the house and Mango, at first, she's like, who is this person and why is he in my home? And so she walks up to Dan Dan and she looks at him and she gets low on the ground and she she sniffs him and then she's like, wait a second, I know this man. And so then suddenly her tail starts wagging and she gets so excited. And then you see her on the camera. She runs away from Dan Dan, grabs a toy, and then runs like halfway back towards Dan Dan. And Dan Dan's petting Tiger because Tiger's just sitting there like, pet me. And she's like looking at him, wagging far, her far. tail from afar. And then she, she doesn't know what to do. So then she'll drop her toy, go and look for another toy, and then hold the toy in her mouth and look at him from afar and wag her tail. Tiger comes to you for love. Mango never comes to you. Yeah, go to her. She kind of wants you to chase her. So that's how she shows love. Yeah. She will stand afar, look at you, wag her tail, bring a toy from afar, and then she wants you to run to her and play with her. Yeah. I saw Mango so excited, but she didn't know what to do. She just keep running away from the end, running around the house. But you didn't know, right? But she kept looking at you and But she keep looking tail. at you from, from a distance. Yeah. Yeah. She just doesn't know how to like 
like show she doesn't beg for dog. love that's why you always see me going mango and walking around the house to try and mango to runs away yeah i always felt like she didn't like me that's why no, no she she'll wants know to. you'll know if she doesn't like that's why when you call mango she never comes she will run away because she wants you to chase her she'll you'll wake up in the morning and she'll be laying on your chest yeah, and just looking mm -hmm. at you. And then sometimes she'll like put her paw down so you wake up. <laughs> yeah. I want to experience that. <laughs> I want to experience <laughs> sleeping with a girl for once. <laughs> and he kidding. woke up this morning. Jesus, how many times Tiger fart last night? <laughs> but then you know what's sad? Anytime she's sick, she comes to me. Like normally she never comes to me. But like the last couple times and like even before that, if she's throwing up and then if she feels really sick, she'll come sit next to me and then she'll probably throw up next to me. And that's when I'm like, okay, we gotta take her to the vet right now. Like usually I'm the first one to be like, let's take her to the vet. And my mom said that morning after um, she fed them and Mango wouldn't eat, she kept just waiting at our door. And like the minute she jumped onto our, be our bed, like, well, my mom put her up because she couldn't jump. I was sleeping, but I knew something was wrong. And so that's why I kept telling you like, something's wrong with that's Mango. <laughs> does he even care? I don't think he does. We're gonna go pick up Mango right now. No way. They just called. So we're gonna go pick up Mango and we're gonna surprise Stephanie. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go grab a bed. I told Stephanie we're going to the bank right now. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. How do you feel, Tiger? Are you he, excited? He probably doesn't like it. Honey! Yeah. Dan Dan wants some fresh air, so I'm just gonna take Dan Dan with me, okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, Mango's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mango! 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 Oh my god! Are you excited? Well, wow, she's too calm. She's not even excited. She, Dude, she's so skinny. She's like a cat now. All right, so your job is keep this as stable as you can. All right. If uh, anything happens, Stephanie's gonna kill you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so the whole ride mango has been really down, and this is the first time both of her ear is up. She just kind of got up. Yeah. She knows that she's home. She's so excited. She's breathing um, hard too. Babe, can you come here? I got a surprise for you. The money can wait. No, the money cannot wait. She went to your mom! But she's so excited! Yeah, actually she was so out of energy the whole ride. Um, yeah. She's so happy to be home. Yeah, she's actually got excited. How do you feel? Surprise! I feel good. I just like don't know how to even touch her. <laughs> I feel like it's okay, I'm Mingo. Break her. I'm like happy and scared. Right now, everybody's trying to get Mango to hang out with them, but Mango's oh not God. cuddling anyone. So and Stephanie's studying all the medicine that came like with it. There's in the fridge. There's so much. No activity. Like rough or strenuous. No. Mango, no activity. We had this whole plan. We we're going to take away all of her balls. Balls. And we we're going to leave. <laughs> that word is not allowed in this house. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Ball? It's okay. Stop that. No, no, it's okay. They had this whole plan that we were gonna take away all the BALLs and only give her A G R E E N T O Y. A G R A B G. What is A G R? A green A green T O Y. You know her green B O N E? B O N E. Green bone. Uh huh. She's not that advanced, okay? She's just like walking away. I think she's like, I feel like I have more belongings here when I left. <laughs> Where'd you put them, bitches? Are you looking for something? Yep. I think she's looking for the toy. Yep, your bed's still here. Still no toys though. Yep, yep, you peed there. That's right. Jesus, Tiger is chunky, guys. Okay, this house is a little bit of a sh show right now because we weren't expecting this. I thought I had 24 more hours. Right now, I'm gonna start researching where to get the best canned food and what is the best canned food for mango. And on top of that, I'm gonna be simultaneously having them help me because I wanted to. I made this tent. I got it for the dogs. I freaking loved it, but it was way too big to have inside the house. So we decided let's put it in the backyard and let mango go in when it's too sunny. Brought it in. We washed it last night. Night. We cleaned, disinfected all of the wooden sticks, the rope ties, and now we're gonna assemble it because I had this idea that maybe when she gets back we would have this like dream fort because Mango's obsessed with like sleeping in closed spaces. Tiger, a lot of the times, you'll see him just like hot dog sausage logging it in the middle of the floor, like middle of the living room. We can even go in there, it's like big enough for humans to fit in. So we're gonna make this. Where should we put it though? Right here. Right here, bitch. So from now on, for the humans to get to the kitchen, we must <laughs> hop over the couch. We can put this tent inside yeah. this tent. 
I no. can't even talk like <laughs> yeah. that. Chill out, no. So we're just gonna stick these four in here and then tie the rope on top and that's it. Tiger. Tiger, can you call Tiger? No, Tiger. She just climbed just right climbed in. in. Oh, Tiger's like, the guard dog. Oh, here. we have a guard dog from the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's guarding her. Don't mess with her. He said, that's my bitch. Hi, Mingo. You look very pretty today. Yes. Good boy. Thank you yes. for guarding her. No? Your services okay. are appreciated. Let me just put... So this is Mingo's tent. This Tiger. Tiger. It's not bad. Hi, most responsible YouTuber alert. <laughs> um, I decided to be super irresponsible and not do a freaking outro for this video because I wanted to spend some time with Mango. But thank you so much for all of your well wishes for Mango. Honestly, I feel like it helped. It probably helped me a lot more than it helped her. And if you guys want to check out a cup of coffee that can really help you in terms of probiotics, mushrooms, they've got chaga mushrooms, turkey tail mushrooms, and coffee all in one cup, make sure to check out Four Sigmatic linked in the description. I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.